Did you ever have a friend who you knew so well that you could finish each other's sentences? I mean, it's a rare and beautiful thing, but in the business world, it doesn't happen at all, usually, especially with relative strangers, right? There's a lot of misunderstanding in the business world. With people who don't know us so well, we have to go the extra mile just to make sure that we're understood. And in the video world, as in other creative endeavors, that extra mile is called a creative brief. The start of a video project can be very exciting. There are lots of ideas floating around. Everybody's got some great concepts. They're imagining what it looks like. Ideas are flowing. But it's at this point that it's really important to take a step back, to take a deep breath and buy yourself a little insurance. Video is obviously a highly visual medium and it can be very easy for things that exist in the mind's eye to not get communicated properly to other people who also have their own vision in their own mind's eye. So short of creating a concept video, a creative brief is really the best way to spell out exactly as best you can what that video is going to look like so that you get everybody on the same page. A video creative brief really should begin with a clear description of the video itself. What's its intended purpose? Where is it going to be shown? Who's going to see it? Who, who do you want to target? What's the call to action? What do you want people to feel? What do you want people to think after they watch your video? But the heart of the creative brief should describe in as much detail as possible what the video will actually be composed of. How's it going to start? How's it going to end? What's going to go on in the middle? Be very, very accurate about what that means. The whole idea is to get everybody onto the same page, to reach across related disciplines, marketing disciplines, to make sure that everybody knows really what that video is going to look like and sound like and what it's going to do and how it's going to perform. Now you're going to have to budget for that creative brief, but it's going to pale in comparison to what you will pay if you have to shoot the whole video over again because it's not anything like what you envision and what you need that video to do. So ask your video people or your agency to spend the time up front to give you a creative brief. It's going to save you a lot of time, a lot of headache, and probably a lot of money. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like it and share it with your friends. And for heaven's sake, leave a comment in the comments section. That's what really makes things fly here on this channel. So if you have a comment or some wisdom to share, be sure to share it with us in that comment section. Until next time, I'm Paul Gannon for ThoughtCast Media.